How's it going guys? This is Syndrome with mission 11 of Hitman Contracts. This mission's called Li Hong Assassination. We've already been here before, so this should be fairly familiar. We're just gonna run back to that same ladder. And we're also going to run back and pick the lock to the same door. Now, once you pick this lock and get inside here, make sure you're in sneak mode because there's a guy we need to take out. And if you make too much noise in this room, he'll turn around and be facing the door and obviously spot you. So, have your fiber wire ready and go through this door and <coughs> take him out. All right, now we're going to drag his body back into this room. You can take his gun if you want. And do not open the safe. Make sure you take his clothes, but do not open the safe. You will set off an alarm. Head back through here, and you can run a little ways, but be careful because there are guards here. They will shoot you if you run past. So walk past. Call the elevator and go ahead and hop on in. And we're going to take it to the basement. Through here, we're going to take a right and just follow this corridor along here. And through these double doors here. And as soon as we get past this guy, we're going to want to go in the second door on the right. There we go. This is the guy we're looking for. Hey, who are you? What are you gonna do with that? Now don't I oh. decided to let this cutscene play out for some reason. Oh, not again. Oh. Oh. oh that's better. Oh man. Oh. Hey, thanks, man. Oh, thanks. Now this cutscene I only let it play until he tells me where the jade figurine is. You don't know what they've done to me. My God. See, first they took a chair. Where's the jade figurine? I almost had it. Now All it's right, in the Hong's safe. office. Hong's That's office an easy one. The back. That's what I needed to know. All right, look out for... As soon as you find out where it's at, you get a save, so you might as well use it. At least you know where you're headed now. I think Hong's office is probably the easiest one. So once that, whoa, boy, he didn't waste any time getting out of there. Anyway, through these doors, you can run past those guards. They don't really care. Just make sure you don't run past these ones or your disguise will be blown. So we're gonna call the elevator. Yeah, we're going to take it up to the mansion. Now, make sure your syringe is ready. Because once you get out here, you're going to need to use it. Walk past these guards. and walk right in between these guys as crazy as it sounds. Now you're gonna wanna watch because sometimes there is a big guy in like a red karate suit that will spot you but I don't see him. So once this guard gets up here and turns around we're gonna take out our syringe and get him. Now we're going to hurry, 
so that we don't run into Sumo Karate Man up here. We're going to drag his body in here. Which is weird. Normally, you'll see him by now. I don't know where he is, but I'm not going to complain. So now we're going to go in this door, and there's our target, so stay far away from him. And go through the door over here onto the balcony. Hide behind the wall and take out your fiber wire. And then we're going to sneak back in. And yeah. take him out. Alright. Now we're going to want to drag his body over here. In case Karate Boy is out there. And we're going to take the combination to the safe. And open the safe that's right here in his office. And take the Jade figurine. That's why I think this is the easiest one to get. I'm gonna head right back out the door, and oddly enough, he's still not there. Where the hell is this guy? Anyway, we're gonna go down these stairs and go through the first and only corridor on your right. And then we're going to want to head down the stairs over here. Oh, there he is. Found him. Huh, too late now. Go through the doors. And there you go. That's it. Got your new guns. And there's your silent assassin rank. So, thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel for more videos.